What's going on guys? It's Nicole Charnel here. Welcome back to my channel. And as you can see from today's title, we are finally talking about my 12 week year. So if you're new here, I do videos on healthy intentional living and that is just living your healthy life with intention. I talk about fitness, I talk about productivity, and mainly I'm just a single mom trying to help others their best life, reach their goals. So today we're gonna to talk about the 12 week year and basically how I botched my last one and how I'm restarting a new one tomorrow. Yeah, so I started a 12 week year back in April, literally the week of Easter, I began a 12 week year and within four weeks, I was all over the place, not together, not following my, not following my plan, not following my guidelines, not doing any tasks, not doing anything towards my goals and I just completely failed. Just completely. I was keeping up with my WAM meetings, which are my weekly accountability meetings with my partner, and I was telling her how I was just ready to quit. I was ready to give up, done with this 12 week year. I'm just over and over it. And she was like, no, don't do it, stick with it. The weeks and the weeks and the weeks went by, and then the next thing you know, I'm in week 10 and I've done nothing. I've done nothing. My whole life has just been just a whole entire mess. Everything is all over the place. I'm not together. I haven't done any weekly planning. I haven't done any monthly resets. I haven't done anything that I've taught myself how to do of how to keep myself sane. And I think I kind of attribute that to I just had like a moment of breakdown. Basically, I just really had a, a look at my finances and I realized like how terrible they were and how I need to get better at them and how I need to save and I need to find a second job, I need to make more income. And that sent me into a spiral like pretty much like a slight depression and I stopped doing my regular things. That is what I was lacking. I wasn't having any structure to my day. I wasn't taking time to plan. I wasn't taking time to look at my calendar or to make lists for the day. And that just completely threw me out of whack. I really thought it was because, oh, I'm just, I slipped into this depression and I just can't get out of it. But to get out of it, I had to make a point to do regular things. Regular things just like make my bed and clean my room. Taking time to just declutter. I wasn't doing those basic things that really helped me get to the point of making goals, setting goals and achieving those goals. I wasn't doing those things. And those basic things were literally just something as small as decluttering my room. So getting back to baseline was my number one step. I got back to that point where I was like, okay, I thrive in a clean space. So I need to clean my space all the time. I was prior to this sad point I was pretty much had my had my room clean every single week like maybe two or three days it was a mess but every week it was clean so then recently more recently it was like one day my room was clean and then the next 14 days my room was a complete shambles and I wasn't taking time to just get back to that base and really just clean my room. Back to this one week year I'm starting again so I'm going to show you uh, what I'm doing to start again um, and how I'm getting back to my baseline and all that. I really believe the 12 week year is a great way to set goals and achieve them within a short amount of time. It helps you be more productive. It helps you um, reach that next level in your life. And that's what you're here for because you clicked on this video. So this is what you're looking for. <laughs> I am recording my screen and I am within my notion. As you can see here, my 12 week year on the screen, it does say April, 2023. That's because that's the last one that I began, but now we're on to a new one. So I'm gonna scroll down, 12 week year, summer, 2023. Here we are, we're starting June 21st, which is actually tomorrow, today, the day you're gonna see this video. We're just beginning so at the beginning of the 12 week year you will have to have a vision um something a vision for your life a vision for whatever goals you have a bit a business vision um whatever it is whatever you want to call your vision or have your vision be about you have to set it i do have a video on my channel talking about vision boards and how i create my vision board vision board and the vision for my life go ahead and check that video out but the 12 week year starts there. You need to have a vision. Without vision, you don't know where you're going. You have to have somewhere to go. So I started there, started with my vision. What do I want it to look like? What do I want to do? What are the goals that I wanna achieve in these next 12 weeks? So I start with a one year goal and then I bring it down to 12 weeks. How I can I take it from being for one year and how can I achieve it within 12 weeks? So 
I have a calisthenic fitness journey. I also have a savings, um, emergency fund savings journey. And then I have a create a passive income journey. So those are my one year goals that I'm breaking down into 12 week goals. So that brings us to the first one, learn to do a handstand. Now, if you saw my last 12 week year video, you know this was on there. You also know from the beginning of this video that I failed and that I did not continue. So we're getting back on top of that, getting back on track. Second goal is to pay off my credit card and my travel. I have some travel set up for the end of the year with my family and then I have a large credit card bill. Well, it's large to me. It's $2,500 that I need to pay off. So I'm doing that. In the meantime though, I have paid off two credit cards prior to this, which was in my last of week year. So I'm feeling good about that and I'm halfway towards paying off my travel. So I am making progress. I just need to keep pushing. So that is my second goal. And then my third goal is research new travel agent interest. So recently I have had an interest of being a travel agent. Now this is actually something that I had an interest in before and I kind of just let it go. But now I'm coming kind of coming full circle back to it. And I want to do some research research on it. I want to make sure this is something that I want to do because I have to put out money to do it. Now if you know me in real life, you know that I've done plenty of things where I have put out money for things that I said I wanted to do and then not accomplish them. I don't know what to say about that, but this is why we're doing the research. I'm not going to put out any money that just yet. I'm actually going to save the money that I'm going to put out instead of like maneuvering savings, which is which I have done in the past. Basically, I would just move my savings around and then spend that money right then and there without doing research, without looking into it, seeing what I really want to do. So that's what I'm going to do for these next 12 weeks. I'm going to take time to look at what it is involved in being a travel agent and creating that type of income. So this is really is not a passive income. The more research that I'm doing about it, it's not passive at all. There's a lot of work involved. Um, but like I said, if this is something that I was interested in before. Um, and I want to just take the time to see if I want to continue to move forward with it. So on to the next part. So you take your goals and then you break them down into strategies. I have three strategies each for mine, but you can have more strategies if you like. But I did three because I want it to be reasonable and doable for me. Something that I noticed in my last 12 week year and even the one before that, I made the mistake of making just so just putting so much on myself that I knew that I couldn't accomplish and also making it complicated and not simple it just makes it worse for me and I just I can't do it I won't figure it out so I need to figure it out I need to do it so I need to make it simple the first goal within the handstand goal like I said three strategies plan out my weekly workouts three upper body workouts a week and then plan out my weekly meals this is all over my fitness journey this touches pretty much the entire of entirety of my fitness journey being able to do these three things and that is what the strategies are about you pick strategies that will help you achieve your goal but also help you achieve your overall vision so you kind of you know you have to be strategic about them that's why they're called strategies but you can do this just pick three different strategies i say three you can do more but three different strategies to help you towards this goal okay Goal number two, my debt free journey. So first strategy is I'm going to budget, budget my paycheck weekly. I actually got paid today and I haven't done anything with my paycheck just yet because I haven't done my budget. And that, it just holds me accountable. I'm not gonna spend any money, do anything, go anywhere till I do my budget. I wanna see where my money is going strategy number one number two use cash for food expenses i have noticed that if i can keep swiping my card bro i spend so much money on food it is a shame it is a sin and a shame so cash it is which i can do because i'm going to plan out my meals and i'm going to know what i need to buy and i know what i need to have i need to include snacks in those meals because the snacks that's what be getting me out i'll be snacking snacking all the time Number three, save at least $200 a week. This is already in my budget. I've actually been doing a budget since January. It's June, six months, go me, okay? I am doing it, I am doing it, <laughs> I'm doing it, okay? So I need to make sure I spend, save this money because this is also going to help me with paying off my credit card and my travel. Budgeting will help me with paying off my credit card and my travel because I won't spend more money than I need to spend and I'll be able to save. See where we're going here? Okay, goal number three, travel agent just call it a travel agent that's what we're gonna do strategy number one read or listen to a productivity book 10 minutes a day that's it i just need 10 minutes to focus on productivity 
Strategy number two, spend 20 minutes a day planning travel agent business. And this is just writing down ideas, doing a brain dump, really thinking about what I would want to do with this, okay? Just 20 minutes. I, I have plenty of notebooks. Here we go. We're going to have a new travel agent notebook. We're just going to write down things. That's what we're going to do. 20 minutes a day. Strategy number three, save $100 a month towards license. So you do have to get a travel agent license and it's about $1,000. Okay, it's $1,000 honey. That's a lot of money when you're only saving $100 a month. That means it's going to take me 10 months. That's just if I saved $100. But by the end of this 12 week, I'm going to know this is what I want to do. See what I'm saying? So then by the end of the 12 weeks, if I decide to put my money aside, if not, I just have $300 sitting there, saved. See where we're going? Do you see how these things are just adding toward my vision of being debt free? Come on now, here we are. Now, next I have weekly tasks. So I do have the date at the top, 621 to 719, because it just we're gonna do this in four week increments, okay? One of the big things about the 12 week year is you do need to track everything and you do need to keep a weekly score. The weekly score is literally the weakest thing for me. I cannot do it. I can't do it. I, I, let me let me rephrase my wording. I am going to do it and I will do it. I will keep a weekly score. That's actually on here. Track score weekly. That's what we're going to do. But basically, I just broke down each task to go along with the corresponding goal. And I just took the strategies and then I put them into the weekly task. So they're literally all the same ones. Here they are laid out, correspond. And then when I do them, I'm just going to hit a little checkbox. Oh, no, wrong button. Go ahead, a little checkbox, okay? Then at the bottom of my notion, it's gonna add them up. That's only 9%, that's cool. But when we check all of them, it's gonna say 100%. And within the 12 week year, you need to get to at least an 80%. If you get 80% every single week, you will achieve your goal. Proven fact, okay? Read the book, you got this, okay? I'm talking to myself, Nicole, you got this, okay? Here we go. All right, so that is what the checkboxes is for. Also, I have a little calendar here. And within my calendar, I literally just have the date of when my week, my 12 week year starts and then when each week ends. Okay, it just helps me keep track. I'm a visual person, so I need to see it all there. That's also why I have the everything color coded, laid out in groups. Boom, I have it there. It's all there in front of me. This is the point. I am going to do this. I am going to be a better productive human and I'm going to reach my goals. I'm going to crush them. That is what the 12 week year really does for you, especially if you are a goal oriented person or you have goals or maybe you have a goal in mind and you just, you really just have been struggling to get there. The 12 week year just shows you how you can make it possible, okay? We're gonna make it real. We're gonna make it happen for our lives. Someone's at my door. I know there are. Anyway, I need to go though because I actually have a WAM meeting about three minutes ago. I'm late. We're, gonna, we're working on it. We're working on being on time. We are. So. Thank you for watching this video, guys. I know it was kind of a different vibe. It was kind of like boom, boom, boom to the point, but that's okay because this that's what I'm here to do. This is what we're here to do for this 12 week year. Um, I also want to say shout out to Affirmations by Amber. She don't know me, um, but I've been following her channel and she's doing an amazing job. She also does a 12 week year. She's actually about to start her 12 week year July 1st. So I'm gonna link her down below. I'm also gonna send her a message, okay? I'm gonna be like, hey girl, shout you out in this video, first of all. Um, second of all, I love what you're doing and I'm here for it, okay? I just know that I need to start right away. I've been procrastinating too much. So I was like, now nah, we're not procrastinating anymore. We're starting tomorrow. We're starting today, okay? I couldn't wait till July 1st. But boo, I'm here with you. That's why it's summer 2023, 12 week year. Here we are, let's go. So I'm actually gonna reach out to her so we can, we can just get right here, me and her. That's what we're gonna do. Uh, but anyway, I love her channel and I love her her little affirmations or her videos that she does. She's a life coach and she does a lot with helping people and like showing you guys how to do things, set goals, be productive, be who you really want to be in your life. First of all, remember it starts with vision. You need to have a vision for your life, vision for what you wanna do and that's how you get there because if you, if you don't know where you're going, how are you gonna get there? How are you gonna get there? I don't know. You tell me. Thanks for watching this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you haven't seen my previous video on the 12-week year, I will definitely link it on the screen. I'm pretty sure it's, it was whack and it was me talking about how I'm just failing. But we're, I'm going to post it up there. Anyway, it's, it's on there. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so by hitting my face down below. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.